Hello and welcome to Pokemon's video tutorial number one using the tack board. So let's go ahead and log in. Okay, you can see um, this is the tack board. This is the first screen you come to. This is the communication or nerve center of Pokemos. It controls communication to and from different devices and different computers within the system and between users and between branches. You can see there's a section for alerts, uh, to-dos, notes, and the history. Using the tack board is very simple. If I want to add an alert to myself, I can do it here. If I want to add a to-do to myself here and add a note to myself here. I'll explain what each one of these does in just a second. If I want to send an alert or to-do to someone else, it's here. And if everyone within my current branch, it's here. And if I want to send an alert or a to-do item to another branch within my company, I do it here. Okay, so let me uh, show you the alerts. I'm going to go ahead and add an alert to myself here. Okay, and depending if it's low, normal, or high, we'll change the color. Low is blue, normal is green, and high is red. Okay, I can create that alert, and it posts to my tack board. You can see. Okay, and you'll notice um, this little bell starts ringing here in my notification center. Wherever I go in Pokemos, this is going to be present. So as you send and receive alerts and to-dos within the tack board, uh, even if you're not in the tack board page, you can always see it by, by clicking on this notification center and uh, going right to the tack board here. Okay. Um, I can add a to-do item. An alert is more of just a single message you, you send to somebody. An alert pops up at a specific time that you can set. You can select the date. I want that to pop up on uh, Monday, and I can set a specific time by clicking on the bottom here and setting the time. Okay. I can switch back to the calendar here, and when I'm done, I just click off of it and set the priority. And I create it. Okay. You can see this one has not popped up in my notification center here because it's set to pop up on Monday. Um, alerts pop up instantly. Um, To-dos only pop up at the time that they're supposed to. Okay, uh, I want to go ahead and uh, tag somebody. Tag somebody is our way of saying message somebody. Tagging means like you're posting it to their tag board. I can uh, select anybody within my company here. I'm going to send it to the tech. I can uh, select my type of alert and say Mr. Johnson called don't forget to shed him back okay and I can create that post and that's going to be sent directly to tech guys tack board what's great about the tack board is that if I assign a to do or some other type of alert it's always kept as a history in my tack board. So if I send it to tech guy and he marks it as complete or he's, he's received the message, it's going to post it down to my history. So you, know, you can see there's a history of mine here, both my sent and received messages. The way tech guy or anyone else marks it as uh, yes, okay, I've received the message is just by Xing out the alerts right here. Okay the way you mark a to-do is here. See, I can mark it as in progress or complete. So if I send a, a job to a technician like, hey, don't forget the Johnson shed, he has to, to make sure to spray it, he can mark it down as, okay, I got it, it's in progress, it's not yet done, or it's done already. So the tech board is a great way to keep communication vibrant and accountable within your office, especially as you're 
uh, employees use multiple different devices. Some other things to know about the TAC board are as you send alerts and to-dos to people, it's going to send a duplicate uh, email to your employee's email. So they have not only the alert or to-do on Pokemos, but they have an email record of the same alert or to-do.